yes. Yes, yes. We missed yes. the boat on that one. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. yes. So, in fact, uh, about 1987, 80, 89, yeah. I read in Newsweek or Time. Mm -hmm. You know, that there was a special article. Mm. Around two billion dollars were not being used by the yes. Korean government. That's right. So I wrote her that as a former commercial bank mm. banker, mm. I could implement it. I didn't know. It's after I met in UP, Zulita Munso, then she told me. You know, only your letter to President Cory uh -huh. about implementing the two billion dollar grants and aids, mm. it was referred to me. Oh, yeah. I did not act on it. Yeah. Oh. Because they require counterpart funds. I see. Yeah. Uh, there was no funding. Yeah, yeah but if Dineda gave the gossip uh -huh. part uh -huh. of my work okay. Okay. in the commercial bank yeah. where I used to work during my first 20 years as a professional and a corporate okay. lawyer okay. and banker was to to gather the statistics on yeah. the yeah. assets, liabilities, mm. uh, deposits of all commercial banks, yeah. government and private. So from there, I could see uh -huh. the liquidity of the banking system. Mm -hmm. See, so by, by sourcing the counterpart mm -hmm. from the banking system, it can be done. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, that I, same principle could be applied now. Yeah, even, you know, well, because I was chairman of IBC 13, mm. of President Marcos, the top us, yeah. were often called to Moranya, you know. One time, while waiting for him, you know, mm. I so happened that his finance minister, Bobby Ojanko, yes. yes. and Central Bank Governor, he took from Pakistan, Gabriel Singson. Yeah. Um, okay. I got in the middle of them. Mm. So I mentioned it. That because Secretary Governor, we don't have to borrow money from the mm. road. Mm. Because I can see mm. from the consolidated statements of condition of all banks, universal banks and commercial banks in the Philippines that we are alas with money. Yes. And which are not being used. We and and you need projects money. like this. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We yes. have yes. more funds here. Mm in the banks than the <laughs> about we want to borrow. Yeah. 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 Because there is commission getting oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, you see him, I'm I'm really very I'm glad that I came because uh know this uh, expansive uh experience mm -hmm. in, in, in running this kind of thing. It really uh gives me a, a lot of optimism when I go to uh, go back to the States. Mm -hmm. I, I know that, of course, uh, you go, you look back home and say, oh, my God, you know, we have got leaders back home yes. who are willing and able to do this type of thing. Yeah. And so, I guess success breeds, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, success for that matter. Yeah. So, it's, it really is that you said the political will. And I think that the, uh, that the President Aquino's, uh, you know, uh, election and the inauguration have really turned on, mm. you know, uh, mm. us, at least always Filipinos, uh, that say, hey, listen, there is, there is hope. There is hope. And so we are trying our best also to come up with our, uh, mm. uh, with our uh, proposal. Yeah. Because uh, uh, we, we, you know, this is our country too, for that matter. You know, I have, I have one uh, specific input for all this. Okay. Because, oh, our culture as a Filipino people, you see. Number one, we are always, if we talk on the 70%, 70-75% of our people, they simplify things by saying, well, that's government, it owes me something. <laughs> Therefore, hey, Mr. Government, Mr. Nino Yapino, no, no, Yapino, you owe me a job, you know? You owe me my income, you owe me my food, and because I am a citizen, not necessarily realizing he doesn't pay taxes, you know, he said, you owe me something. Therefore, yeah. the best thing, therefore, uh, comes to my mind, is our experience in 1987. Did you, did you, 
in the futuristic society. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We said in 1987, when we knew that Cory was going to declare a revolutionary government and was going to put up a new constitution, mm -hmm. we hurriedly organized a four-day uh, convention out here on the top floor of the SDB building. Okay, okay. Uh, chair of that four-day convention was Ting Rojas, friend, friend of ours. <coughs> and Roy Navarro was involved in it, I was involved in it. And the idea was to get the art and science of consultative conferences mm -hmm. among our people. Okay, okay. So that okay. The, the incoming government would know exactly what the people want and can tell the people because of their knowledge of the, the macro view, you know, to say, hey, what you want is not necessarily what's doable. This is doable. In short, Correct. Correct. this art in science is just like painting, putting up or doing a painting, you know. Mm -hmm. You get the paint from the top. That's the, uh, the, govern the governors and the academe, mm -hmm. the thinking people mm -hmm. from the top to, by gravity, to get what is doable down. Okay. To these people from below who are saying, hey, we are the 70% of the population, we are the majority. Now, this is our view. Then, that view by osmosis goes up, you see. And in the middle of the canvas, the whole thing spreads and mm -hmm. that becomes the combination of the national vision. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then we can have the 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 the, uh, the, 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 the mission to carry out the vision, mm -hmm. and it becomes, you know, <coughs> the property of all Filipinos. They are going to own it. Mm -hmm. They are going to fiercely defend that because they think it's theirs, mm -hmm. not like today. When they say, oh no, that, that development program, economic development program for the province of Samar, Leyte, and all that, that was invented by Imperial Manila. Mm. Therefore, give us the money, and if it fails, it's your problem, not ours. You know, this, is the kind, this is the kind of disconnect mm. and detachment mm. from reality. You know? You, you know what I recall, uh, as you were uh, mentioning all of this uh, experience of the end. I also recall in 1992, you know, the uh, Hurricane Andrew yes. virtually devastated South Florida. Mm -hmm. All the Air Force Base, you know, the U.S. Southern Command, uh, yeah. virtually, it was almost like a war zone day. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Uh, folks with the guts and the grit cut together and said, we will rebuild. We will rebuild. Mm -hmm. And it so happened at the time that Congress wanted me was a member of the Congressional, House Congressional Appropriations Committee. Uh, and, you know, Democrats or Republicans or Independents got together, no. We will rebuild. They were going to close homes of the Air Force Base. They were going to close down the U.S. Southern Command. They are going to uh, close down uh, as in Miami International Airport. Said, <coughs> no. The community people said, no. We are going to rebuild. And it's a kind, and, and we did, we did rebuild. And now, uh, Homes and Air Force Base is one of the, uh, uh, I guess, more uh, modernized uh, U.S. Air Force Base that, that patrols uh, Central and uh, and South America and the Caribbean. And uh, and I'm glad. It's the kind of spirit that I I I, I saw, mm -hmm. you know, uh, during the inauguration of uh, 